Okay, today on the bench, we've got this giant Ultraman made by Bullmark, Japan, and I believe it was in the late 1960s that it came out. We'll just say 1960s, we don't know for sure. And uh, initial problems with the toy was when you turn it on, it didn't do anything. So, we start. With the battery box in the back. If you want to look it over? Here's uh, your bowl mark. Japanese. All tin. Very nice. Of course, the arms aren't and the head aren't, but uh, even this battery door is very nice. Tin. Got the original old foam rubber for holding the two uh, C cells in place. Uh, the like I was saying earlier, where I started then was by putting some batteries in there, tracing the wires from the uh, tops of the battery box compartment to where they come and checking for voltage and there wasn't any. So then I started by uh, cleaning all four of the battery contacts, at which point when I turn it on, <clears throat> the light would light. This light should be on all the time, the way the thing is wired. It's for the uh, eyes up in the head. But nothing else was happening. So the motor being right here, I uh, did remove this clicker panel and light flasher so I could get in and lube the end of the motor shaft there, lube the top of the motor shaft up here, and then in right through that slot right there, sprayed in some uh, contact cleaner, and got the motor running again. So at that point, I had uh, light walking, moving arm action, and when I put the panel back, of course, I then had a clicking, but I still didn't have the light that's supposed to be happening in the chest, right here. It's the one that should blink and flash. And as it turned out, the original bulb that was there, as you can see, it has a funky brass holder and everything, was burned out. So I managed to uh, chip out the original broken bulb and then insert into the same brass housing a new, uh, they call them, we call them grain of wheat bulbs, and secure it in place and solder it into the circuit. Like one side of the bulb comes down to the clicker and the other one gets voltage all the time. And so now that part works too. All of the important gears in this toy are metal until you get down to the one that runs the arm. See this crank right here? There is a white plastic gear just like that one. If I tip it right, maybe the camera can kind of see up in there. There you see it up in there? So there are only two plastic gears inside here and they're only used for uh, moving the arms. And this lower one does in fact have a crack in it. And there's not a whole lot we can do about that the way it's built, but uh, it's still working, so that'll be the best we can hope for. I did, in fact, try to fill the crack with some uh, super glue, so maybe it wouldn't get any wider, and it's uh, we'll just have to hope for the best on that one. But at least the important gears, the ones that come from the motor, run the clicker, run the walking, because this big metal gear here, this is with walking. Here, maybe if I turn this light on, There we go. See, that's better. Got this nice metal gear here, and then this crankshaft is the one that performs the walking. Now that we got light, I'll aim it up in there so you can kind of see those other gears and see the top and everything. So that gave us uh, all of those functions. So now when you turn it on, you get the chest light, you get the head light, you get the clicking sound, you get the moving arms, and you got walking. I wish I had my uh, good C cells in the house. They're all out in the hut, the ones that are in here. Not as fresh as I like. So, the uh, vinyl head will fit in like so. And when I received the uh, the toy, 
the front half of this body panel was being held on with a rubber band and the screws were in a separate container. And this is kind of an unusual affair, this particular toy. They've got, as you can see, fairly large holes all around and it's actually held on with screws. Since I'm not the one that took the screws out, I don't know how easy or how hard it is to uh, put them back in. I thought we'd find out together. See if there's uh, any real trick to this or not. Right now what I'm trying to fight into place is keeping the, uh, the head locked up in the neck. Getting those to line up. I actually think everything's in place, so let's uh, let's try dropping a few screws in place. See how that goes. At least the Phillips head, which makes it uh, easier. It's very rare that you find uh, tin toys like this that actually were designed where you could open them up and work on them to get inside. Usually, this would have been some sort of crimp tab or some other impossible arrangement. But, got tapping metal screws here for holding this thing together. Give me another one up under the arm, but I want to get enough around the perimeter here so that the body stays together while I'm working on it. I think the one up in the crotch might be the hardest one. We'll see, I've got my extra long uh, Phillips driver here in the hopes that it would make it a little bit easier. Yes. See, this thing's got really long legs. This is like 16 inches tall. It's a very large tin toy robot, battery operated. I suspect it's probably rare. I know I've never worked on one before. Okay. One more screw to go. And because of the long legs and the size of the toy, the motor is geared down, so it's never going to be any uh, speed walker or anything like that. All right, there we go. We got all of the screws in place. Let's find out. Let's find out what it looks like with everything in place. So, got the light up eyes, and got the light up chest. I think I'm doing a little bit more cleaning work on the uh, battery contacts. You can see it's, it's actually a fairly good washer for being as tall and as big as this thing is. Let's see if it was right on that height. I don't know if I have a yard stick. Yeah, I've got a yard stick in here. Yeah, it's actually over 16. Let's get this right along here, right along the head. That's 16 and a half inches tall. It's a big boy. So, there you have it. An inside look how it functions, 1960s Bomark, made in Japan, giant battery operated Ultraman.